Hi, I'm Pastor Dick LaFountain, and we're ready to start our course in Philemon. Now you ask, where in the world is Philemon? I've never read that book of the Bible, didn't even know it was a book. Well, it is. It's one of the 13 letters that the Apostle Paul wrote to the churches and to individuals. This particular letter is about the size of an extended postcard. It's not very long, but it's significant, and we're going to look into that and find out why. If you have your Bible, you might want to open it up and go to the New Testament. And then where is Philemon in the New Testament? If you go through Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, Titus, right after Titus comes Philemon, and then Hebrews. So find Hebrews and go backwards once and you find Philemon. Now don't ask me why Philemon is stuck between Titus and Hebrews. It makes no sense at all. For the book of... Uh, Philemon, or the letter of Philemon, was sent at the same time as the letter to the Colossians. As a matter of fact, it was delivered by two gentlemen who had visited the Apostle Paul in Rome. So, you can find it and go along with us and read the scriptures together. We want to begin our study by asking the question of why in the world would we want to study this tiny book? It's one of the smallest books in the New Testament. And it is the smallest letter that the Apostle Paul wrote. It's important for us to understand that, that it is a small letter. And I wonder why in the world would somebody keep a letter like this and uh, share it with other people? 